Hello everyone! So I am here today with a update to the Harry Potter project pan I'm currently working on. And I think you all will be kind of impressed, or maybe not, I don't know. I'm impressed with the progress I've made. So let's just get into it. Okay, so there were five products in this project, and the first three are based on various balls in Quidditch, which is the sport they play in Harry Potter world. <laughs> and the last two were based on your favorite house. I chose Ravenclaw because that is my house. So first up we have the Golden Snitch and I chose the Kat Von D eyeshadow from the Monarch palette. That's the gold shade. And <laughs> You guys might be a little bit surprised by how much progress I made. What happened was I was doing an eye look and then I messed up and I was like, well, what am I going to do now? And I wasn't planning on going anywhere. I was just kind of playing around with different techniques and that technique didn't work. At least not for my eyeballs, eyelids, you know. So then I just decided to go a little bit crazy and I kind of did an avant-garde editorial e. I don't even know. But uh, the photo's on my Instagram and I'll pop a picture if I can figure out how to do it. I'll pop one up here otherwise I'll leave a link in the description to my Instagram if you want to check that out and see the craziness I got up to. But enough of me babbling. Let me show you a close-up of this because I've been kind of hiding it because I'm like, oh, I know I kind of always get excited for the first time I get to see how much progress someone's made. Anyway. <laughs> So as you can see, I have not only hit pan, but I have hit quite significant pan. That entire upper corner is gone. There is some in the other corner still, but I'm quite impressed with myself. And so since my goal was to hit pan, I am going to consider this done, partially because I do have another project that I want to include this in and I feel like it would be kind of cheating that project to continue to make progress in this project since the next project will be starting fairly soon, I believe. Don't hold me to that. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it starts soon. Then we have Bludger. That is black, and I chose the little dual-ended eyeliner from Ulta, and I'm working on the black side, of course. And I've made fairly decent progress on this. It's not my favorite eyeliner, although to be fair, I'm kind of iffy on most eyeliners. I either find them too soft or too hard, and this falls into the too hard category. I feel like it doesn't provide enough pigmentation for the impact that I want if I'm going to put the effort into wearing eyeliner. But I have made progress, so let me show you my little progress tracker. So as you can see, up here at the kind of bluey line, that's where I started, and I'm down at the red line now. As you can kind of see. It's hard to show with since this is dual ended. And so I'm going to continue working on this. I'm still not sure how far down the actual product goes, but we'll see. And then I have a story for this one, guys. For Quaffle, which is red, I chose the Kat Von D lipstick and Bachelorette. And I was pretty excited because it, this isn't my favorite liquid lipstick formula, but I, the last time I tried it, I remember liking it. 
But like I said in my intro video, it's been a long time since I've actually used this. And I'm about a hundred... No, there is no about. I am a hundred percent positive that this has gone bad. Either that or my lips have changed drastically. Because this is what happened. I always apply like a little lip balm before I apply a liquid lipstick. So I did that, applied this, you know, go throughout the day, reapply as needed. And throughout the day, it felt dry, but not uncomfortable. By the end of the day, I took it off, went to bed, I woke up, and my lips were red, but I thought it was just like staining from this, even though I removed it. And they kind of hurt a little bit, but I didn't really think too much of it because sometimes I grind my teeth or I talk in my sleep and sometimes I bite my lips. Dreams are a crazy place for me, folks. So I didn't really think too much of it. So I let my lips rest for a day because that's normally what I do with liquid lipsticks. I do a day, rest a day, do a day, rest a day, you know. So I apply this the next day and now mind you beginning of each day my lips were not chapped end of that day end of the second t day my lips were very chapped and I was like well maybe I just didn't drink enough water because you know dehydration can cause that so I give my lips a few days off from this and then the next time mind you this is all within like the first week and a half of the project and so the third time I use this and I'm very conscious about drinking enough water and you know I applied my lip balm beforehand and every time I reapplied I actually took like a makeup remover wipe and I removed the, this and I put more lip balm on before reapplying end of the day and like I said my lips were chapped at the beginning of the day at the end of the day my lips were so chapped that they were it felt like they were about to start bleeding and so this is nothing against like Kat Von D or the brand or the company or anything like that it's just this is old like three years old four years old it's up there and I just think I mean I live in a hot climate so that doesn't help the longevity of my products so I know people who have had lips liquid lipsticks for years and have had no problems but I also know that I'm not the nicest in my makeup sometimes I forget it in the car and sometimes like I don't know just and come to think of it, last summer our AC went out in our house and so, was that last summer or the summer before? Either way, AC went out. So this has been through the ringer and so, yeah, I'm tossing this. I just, I held on to the tube just so I could show you guys and like gesture around with it like a, like it's a wand. Anyway, yeah this is out and I might end up regretting this after what happened with that liquid lipstick but I'm bringing in Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and American Doll again this is quite old it's four five four or five years old so and like the cap on D I'm not always the nicest so <laughs> I'm gonna give this two days I'm not gonna let it get to the point where I feel like I've injured myself two days um, we'll see how it goes and if that doesn't work I don't know maybe we'll call it quits We'll see. Ah, <laughs> oh, poop. Okay. 
So for Ravenclaw Blue, I have Zoya Estelle. It's this color nail polish. It's super duper pretty. And it was all nice and like settled and you can very clearly see where I was, but I just knocked it over. So I'm just going to set that down and I'll talk about the bronze color for a minute. Um, this is the L'Oreal hair oil. And I have made progress on this just from using it both at the gym and whenever I am pet sitting or house sitting, I bring this with me and this is what I use instead of conditioner. And it's working fairly well. Um, I have noticed if I, because I don't wash my hair every day, but if I use it for a week and a no, more closer to two weeks, the two week mark, my hair starts to look kind of greasy and gross. But at the same time, my hair hates using the same product. As in, if I buy a shampoo, I have to switch to a different shampoo about halfway through the bottle because otherwise my hair just constantly looks oily and it looks like I haven't bathed in a week when I have. And it's very frustrating, but I think that's just kind of a quirk about this product. I can't use it for every shower for an extended period of time. So I'm actually pretty much done house sitting. So I think I'll just throw this back in my gym bag and knowing that it's there will also motivate me to go to the gym. So it's kind of like a win-win. Let me show you where I am. Okay, so as you can see, I was up here by the word oil and now I am down here. So I'm making good progress and like I said, my goal was to hit, reach this dot, so I think I'll be able to get there. And <laughs> I actually knocked this over again just now, so I'll just tell you guys where I'm at. I'll zoom the camera in, maybe you'll be able to see, I don't know. But I've actually made very good progress with this. And I think I might be able to actually surpass my goal. But I'm not sure if once I make my goal, I'm going to start using a different polish or if I'll continue using this. Haven't decided yet. Let you guys know whenever I hit the goal. Um, but I've been going through this as quickly as I am because I typically do two to three coats every time I do my nails. And then whenever I like chip a nail, I just re take the polish off of that nail and redo it. So, and I'm kind of not the most graceful of swans. I'm more like the goose that's like bup, 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 bup. So, um, yeah, I chip my nails a lot. Okay, so as you can see, this little silver line is where I was, and my goal was to make it to the bottom of the word of Zoya. And I'm actually just brushing the top currently. I don't know if the light will pick it up. A little bit. There, you can see it kind of. So I do feel like I'll be able to hit goal on this. So, yeah, that is everything. Um, if you've joined in on this project, let me know. I'd love to check out your video. I'm decently good about searching the tag within, like, the first week of, like, whenever I post my updates, I'll search it pretty consistently for that first week or so, and then I kind of forget. <laughs> but, yes, for that first little bit I will be checking so if I haven't like liked your video or commented on it let me know and I'll check it out and of course you know the YouTube stuff like the video if you liked it check out my channel if you want to see more or you can subscribe if you'd like to see my face popping up regularly if not that's cool too if 
you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section. And yes, that's all of the YouTube stuff. So as always, I hope you guys are having a wonderful whatever time of the day it is wherever you are. I will see you in the next video. I love you guys.